Hey guys, so if you clicked on this video, chances are you read the thumbnail and you went, what? You wrote, sold $1,000 worth of your crafts in a week? What did you do and what did you sell? So I am gonna go over that today. I'm gonna be telling you what I sold, how I made $1,000 worth in a week, basically from selling my crafts and some tips and tricks on how maybe you can do it as well. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video for those tips and tricks, but I'm gonna get right on into it. I sold $1,000 worth of my crafts in one week by... Combining world events with holidays. What does that mean? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example. So basically Mother's Day was just here and we've also had quarantine as well as a toilet paper shortage if you're here in America. So um, basically for Mother's Day, I offered this to customers. This is just a sublimation mug that says, Dear Mom, I love you more than toilet paper. Love, Sarah. Little roll of toilet paper here. And then I offered customers the option to change this name. So it could say Sarah, it could say George, it could say John, it could say whatever name they wanted to basically make it as a gift for their mother for Mother's Day. Customers love that option. So that was a great one. Another one, we were all quarantined this year, again, along with a toilet paper shortage in America. So this one is the one where we were quarantined 2020. This has also been a good gift that people have liked to give for Mother's Day, just as like one of those, hey, remember that Mother's Day we were quarantined? Um, it's kind of a, one of those once in a lifetime things that people can give as a gift, especially if you're struggling on what to give your mom this year. That has been a popular one. And then also this one says, nurse 2020, I'll be there for you. And the 2020, the zeros have little masks on them. And this has basically been a popular gift people have been giving to their healthcare providers as a thank you. So that is basically the general idea is uh, basically capitalizing on a holiday and then something going on in a world event or um, socially. So example of another one in the past was, if you remember a couple years ago, we had a big saying, dilly dilly. And that one happened right at Christmas time. So I was able to combine dilly dilly with Christmas and boom, that really made a lot of money. So are you gonna make $1,000 every week selling your crafts? You might, but I can tell you personally, I don't. Um, but it is nice when it does happen. But I find that the best way to really maximize your profits on selling your crafts is gonna be combining world events as well as holidays. Now. Another little tip for you as well to maximize selling your crafts is going to be to keep the product on hand. So, I mean, you don't want to have a crazy amount, but you want to have enough that, hey, if you see that this might sell, that you stick this out here and then all of a sudden you get like a hundred orders for it, you want to make sure that you can rapidly fulfill those orders um, that, you, that you have coming in. So, those are my tips for you is to one, stay up on current events, two, if at all possible, combine them with things like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, anything where people would be giving a gift to somebody else is perfect. And then also make sure you keep stuff on hand so that you can sell it if there is an interest for it. So there you have it. That is what I sold. And by the way, this is just what I like to do. I like to make the coffee mugs. This can go for anything you like. If you like to make shirts or hats or whatever, just basically customize it to your interest and your likes. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.